Hello there my uh, good friends of YouTube. Today I'm messing around with a flyback on my bed of course because uh, it's too cold to be in my shed so I'm in the bedroom and I've put together a little Tesla coil run by a flyback on my bed. Yes, excuse the pink cushions, they're my wife's and she likes pink. But anyway, I'm still trying to uh, get some new colours but a bit more preferably to my colour but it takes a while <laughs> anyway um, this little load Tesla core that is flyback driven okay um, first of all first of all uh, I've put my ZVS driver into a plastic project box oh yes I know I've gone crazy on project, uh, project boxes at the moment there's some more down there um, there's the one that you guys have seen on a previous video and uh, this is another ZVS driver, which is in a project box. This one is uh, rated voltage-wise because only rates it up to 12 to 36 volts. This one is, <clears throat> well, this one is 12 to 50 volts. I've thickened the wires. Uh, otherwise, thinner wires, they get warm because you get too much current run through it and they get start to get warm and start to melt your project box and that's one thing you don't want to do and uh, what I've done with as well is I've uh, done some quick release capacitors so basically if I want to change the capacitors I just pull these off which is a little bit difficult because you've only got one hand okay which is on these little banana plugs which helps and then I can just make different pairs up and stick them in and you know and that's as, it's as easy as that so it's a good thing. It just saves soldering and messing around, and you know, it, it, this looks easier and it looks better. And you know, there's my outputs just there, just slide in the wires, you know, and it's it, it, you know, it saves time and, and it looks better than having a board there. Even though I do love looking at circuit boards and stuff and ZVS drivers, I do love looking at them, but it just looks better in a box. So anyway, this is the spark gap. Okay. Uh, this is a spark gap I got off Sparkfish. Uh, Sparkfish has uh, got it off him some time ago. It works a bit better than the one I was using. Um, I haven't got the. I've just blown the fan up. Of course, a bit of EMF blew into it and destroyed it and destroyed the power supply as well. Um, but it works as good without the uh, quenching of the spark gap from the fan. But uh, you know, just keep it running as it goes. That's the flyback. Okay. And uh, these little standoffs here just hold that wire off the bed. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Looks like some real electric pilot, uh, telegraph poles or whatever you want to call it. Looks cool. A little miniature village with some high voltage cables going through it. <laughs> Sorry, went a bit off the uh, off the ball there. But uh, that's the primary coil just there onto the old um, Tesla coil. That's my little feet holding it up, some glue sticks. Looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I've had to glue the crap out of that top wire because it was arcing over to the secondary and uh, it caused a bit of a burn in the old insulation that's covering the um, secondary wires. Uh, I've got some plastic, sticky back plastic that's uh, wrapped around the secondary just there. This is one of my first Tesla coils, actually, guys. Yeah. Um, I hadn't used it for a while and I was bored upstairs and I thought, I want to play with a Tesla coil. It's too cold in my shed. So let's go get one built upon the old bed. She's gone out tonight. Yee! <laughs> so when she goes out, I can play. If she's seeing this on the bed, though, she wouldn't really say anything. She'd just go, uh, you can clean all that lot up before I go into bed. <laughs> As they do. <clears throat> so yeah, there's the old toroid. Uh, this is a, I got this, I found this actually in the scrapyard. Um, about three, four months ago. Uh, picked to see it up. It's an old bed post, you know, the old bed posts from these double king size uh, these king size beds. They have them on the each four post, and uh, yeah, seen it on the line on the ground. It's got a little bit of a dint in it, of course, where some comedian threw it, but uh, still works. This little bit on here, which is a uh, uh, drywall, uh, not drywall. What is it? Is it drywall? I don't know if you call it drywall in America or not. But uh, this is a basically a screw that screws into plasterboard so you can screw stuff into it. But I use it as a breakout point 
on the old toroid just there. So that's my old um, capacitor bank, 40 kV capacitors, and the two brown ones are 30 kV. So, you know, and uh, that's the power supply that's running it. That is a laptop power supply which goes from 12 volts to 24 volts, but I'm running it at 20 volts. And the output current wise at about 20 volts is 7 amps. So, runs it pretty well. So, I think that's about it, guys. I'll power it up and show it working. It's not better than 20 volts. I'm going to have to uh, turn the light out. If you tell you something, you don't have to get a good build up of bloody ozone. Oh, yeah, before I go, I uh, got one of these new bulbs from work. If you can just see that. Uh, let me show you. It's, uh, I'm actually quite astonished, actually, because I've not seen these before. And it's really, really bright. Uh, just look at that. Can you see that? It's daylight white. Unbelievable. See if you can just see the uh, set it, uh, the information on the side of there. So 30 watts, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 6500K. That's the brightness of it. Awesome. Because we used to have these. We used to have a yellowish looking one, and I don't like these um, power saving ones that look like horrible. Not a yellowy, like an orange colour. They look bloody horrible. So I seen that at work and grabbed it. I thought I'd have that. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Right, let's get back to the action. De -de -de -de. Stand back. <laughs> I don't want to fry my phone. Right, let's get the light going on. And we have contact. Oh yeah, by the way, it's uh, quite light, guys. Uh, you want to turn your volumes down. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> right, it's just... A... <sighs> Get that off. There. I'll show you, without, show you without the breakout point on it. Uh, guys, do you want to turn your volumes down? <laughs> Sorry about that. Should have told you beforehand. Contact. You know the spiral of arcs on the uh, the top of the toroid. It it only does that with flybacks. I've tried it with um, NSTs, of course, you know, and um, you know other other uh, high voltage flybacks, uh, flybacks, uh, transformers. But 
with DC output, um, uh, you know, with the frequency that comes out of these bloody uh, flybacks, which is higher than NSTs, of course, um, you get a lovely spiral of the arcs off the toroid, if you've noticed. Have you noticed? You know, it, as you see off the top. And it looks fantastic. It really, really does. So, yeah, before you all go away, um, one of one of you uh, good, uh, good friends um, which have subscribed to me, I can't remember who it is, but one of you guys um, added me to your, uh, you know, your video list in, on your channel, and I lost all my emails uh, the other, a couple of days ago, and I can't remember who it is because I've got thousands of who I've subscribed to, and about 600 subscribers that have subscribed to myself, and one of you uh, sent me a message, a kind message saying, I've added you to my list in my channel. And uh, you know, if you wouldn't mind, you know, doing it, uh, doing it for me. And I can't remember who it is. Uh, so if you're that chap watching my video, uh, please let me know because you know, I'd like to, you know, do the favour for you as you have done for me. Um, so, so anyway, I'm not going to ramble on any more and take any more of your valuable time, up friends. Uh, thanks ever, ever so much for watching. Um, don't try this at home unless you're confident and have a bit of electrical background high voltage background of course um, please rate thumbs up and please subscribe if you are a new uh, viewer to my channel look after yourselves be safe and we'll see we'll uh, definitely speak again thanks for watching